Welcome back, everybody. If you are in the construction or manufacturing business, then you know how important it is to stay safe and to also avoid costly OSHA fines. Well, John Coniglio and Gina Coniglio are here from OSEA to talk about how they can help. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having us. Tell us a little bit about your company, OSEA. Well, back in 1991, Gina and I decided that uh, we wanted to enter into the safety consulting business. That's all I've done for 45 years. Mm -hmm. Gina is an educator, so we thought that putting uh, programs together for companies to be proactive in safety and getting into training would be natural for us. And I bet it has been wonderful for companies to be able to come to you as a resource. Yes, it has. Um, John and I are married. We married our skills, uh, we offer our skills to any company out there who needs them, and we strive to do the best we can for them to bring their employees home safe. And what's really fascinating is that you are a consulting firm that literally can become the safety department for companies and or mentor new safety people who are hired. Right, we actually will place safety managers on projects. Uh, we do full-time RSPs, we call them, uh, resident safety professionals. We've done those around, actually around the world, uh, but heavy in Western New York. We've been on most every project here wow. uh, and do an awful lot of training. And we're now getting into uh, asbestos training, which we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about. Mm -hmm. And I, I do want to talk about that because that is huge. Um, as far as I know, there is a lot of asbestos training that is lacking. And Gina, you know firsthand the problems with asbestos. 50 years ago, 60 years ago, employees did not know the dangers of asbestos. This has touched my life personally. Both my mother and my father have passed away due to exposure to asbestos. My father worked in the shipyard industry. He worked on tanks. He contracted asbestosis. He in turn would come home, give my mother his laundry, his sure. lunch pail, they slept together, they were in the same area of the house. She contracted a lung disease that was a result of her secondary exposure to asbestos. So we don't want this to happen to anybody else. That's why we're heavy on the asbestos training. So you literally can have people in and train them on how to handle this, this yes. substance, among all the other things that you can help companies with. Exactly. People are becoming more and more aware of the hazards of asbestos. I mean, there's no safe level for no. asbestos. Mm -mm. So we've put together a training facility for the adult learner, for the people who will actually be the hands-on uh, abatement people and making sure that they understand how to do it correctly so they're not exposed and importantly that we're not exposing the public right. to these. We read about these all the time and hear about the news stories of asbestos exposures. This is all to prevent that. And so uh, our curriculum was approved by the New York State Department of Health. Uh, as was our training facility, and uh, we're looking forward to a, a good run getting people oh, in Oh, yes. So, John, individual workers can contact you for these uh, training classes and also companies who deal with this. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we then go to our website. Mm -hmm. uh, Gina can give more information on that, but it's OSCA.com. Mm -hmm. And there's a registration location for the asbestos course, as well as... 70 some other classes that we right, do. Right, right. Uh, th this is wonderful. We want to let everybody know the company is OSEA. They do so much here in Western New York to help manufacturing and construction businesses. But that asbestos training is paramount uh, to, to, to keep the workers safe and to keep the public safe. And we still have right. a lot of it here in Western New York. You know, in Western New York, we have awesome facilities and buildings. Mm -hmm. And we're, we, we look at them all the time. And the, the good thing is we're now renovating and reusing these facilities as opposed to taking right. them down. Right. Uh, with that comes a lot of uh, exposure to possible asbestos. So you need to understand where you it is, to how it. to handle it, yes. Thank you so much for doing what you do. OSEA, we want to thank Gina and John Coniglio for joining us today. Great information.